Hey, what's going on guys? My name is CarQ, and today I'm going to be bringing you 26 tips for the 26 heroes, one tip for every hero in the game. Let's go. For Doomfist, you can gain vertical height with your rocket punch if you cancel it with a jump as soon as you come into contact with objects that are slanted and angled. Genji has an uncommon animation cancel combo, done by dashing at enemies at max distance range then using the secondary fire into melee cancel combo. If done correctly, you can finish the entire dash animation and perform the secondary fire melee cancel into enemies at center body mass without having to turn 180 degrees. You can animation cancel McCree's reload with flashbang or melee. The flashbang can help your APM in the middle of a 1v1 duel, and the melee is great for one-shot comboing 150 HP heroes such as Tracer and D.Va. If you're having trouble flying forever, the trick to it is to just tap your rocket fuel, let it recharge a bit, tap it again, and repeat until jump jet comes off cooldown to let you recharge it. If you're still struggling with this mechanic, you can try landing on angled rooftops. This doesn't let you recharge your rocket fuel, but it can slow down your descent and stall long enough for your jump jet to come off cooldown again. You can still jump and crouch while using Death Blossom, so use this as a way to potentially dodge bullets. Since armor is effective at reducing small instances of damage compared to big bursts, use Helix Rocket first to break as much armor as you can before regular shots. The difference in DPS is huge! EMP is unique against shields and barriers. It needs to have direct line of sight of the ability's source in order to negate it, so keep this in mind before you ult. For Tracer, try using melee, then cancelling its animation with Blink to finish off enemies. During a Bastion ult, try utilizing a rocket jump to get a much better shooting angle on the enemies by shooting the floor below you, then jumping. If you ever hear or suspect Sombra is about to hack or EMP you, select your arrow ability beforehand and you can still use it after the hack. You can use your trap to draw aggro from the Torb and Symmetra turrets so you can cleanly take them out. You can use Maze Blizzard into your wall to slow down its descent to stall the point. It also lowers the risk of it being eaten by D.Va or deflected by Genji. This tip is pretty obvious to most experienced players, but for my new players, remember to strafe or add a little movement to dodge potential bullets and projectiles while building your turret because the animation of the hammer swing is very slow. For Widowmaker, you can combo a shot into melee if the enemy happens to be really close to you. If you hold the jump button at the end of a booster jet, you can gain a little bit of extra distance. Arissa has a high APM animation cancel combo which I discovered from a user named Austin Chang. This is done by using Halt into Projected Barrier into Supercharger, begin shooting, and then reactivate Halt. You can swing, then combo it into Fire Strike as soon as you get a hit marker to cancel out the remainder of the swing animation. You can cancel your hook animation with your ultimate. It's not common, but the option is there for you in specific situations, for example being out of ammo and reloading but seeing a hookable target. You can super leap with Winston by jumping, then leaping just before you make contact with the floor. Here's a comparison between a normal vertical leap versus a super vertical leap. Since all you need is a minimum of one round left in your gun to perform a secondary fire, you can really maximize your DPS by weaving in 24 rounds of lasering in between 4 secondary fire shots. For Ana, you can immediately use any ability or melee as soon as you shoot. This is an advanced mechanical tip to really improve your APM with her. Try practicing the shot melee, the shot nade, the shot sleep, and the shot nano. As soon as Lucio reloads his ammo back to full, you can cancel the rest of the animation with his boop ability. You can gain vertical height on Mercy by using Guardian Angel on an ally and ensuring there is a small environmental object between you and them. As soon as you come into contact with the object, jump and hold it to keep flying. Use your projected barrier to break line of sight to block sound barrier or temporarily stop transcendence healing. Moira can also attain a lot of vertical height with her fade by jumping as soon as she collides with an object that is knee to shoulder height. If it's a bit angled or slanted, it makes it even easier. I have a compilation of over 100 of these jumps on all maps in another video. Weave in Discord Orb immediately after a primary fire shot so it doesn't take any extra time. If you can master that, there really is no excuse to never have a non-discorded target on your screen. And that's all of them! Again, I really need your feedback in the comment section on the format of this series because I'm running out of unique tips. By the time the 27th hero comes out in a few months, I'm going to be almost finished with the one hero tip versus every hero series which is packed with way more tips and tricks and information for each hero. Thank you again though, and I'll see you guys next week.